Good afternoon. My name is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist with Pioneer. Um, we've had some really severe weather in our area, as most of the country has, and having some reports of hail damage. And just wanted to take a real quick moment here and go over some of the field assessment techniques for looking at hail damage uh, if this would have, have happened to your farm. Um, the farm on one right now, we have not seen any hail damage as of yet. Still have some severe weather it's supposed to be here this afternoon. But uh, anyway, we're going to just talk through some of the assessments. So here at a split of some corn and beans, going to talk through both of those plants. Uh, the first thing would be corn. So on any of this, what we want to do is actually go out and dig a plant. Don't just pull it, dig, get that whole root. And then for corn, we're going to actually cut that plant straight down the middle. So I've already done that with this plant out of this field. Uh, this is a, about a V3 plant here uh, actually yeah v4 so what I want to do is cut straight down and I'm looking for the growing point and on this plant we still have that growing point sticking right down at the bottom you can kind of see it uh, it's this almost teardrop look kind of some folks can even say it looks you can see the tassel down there and everything and you can see it's a really nice white color that means it's a healthy growing point so if we have hail damage or something like that, the first thing we want to do is split this plant, look for that growing point, assess how healthy that looks. You want it to be white. If it's brown or a really dark brown color, it's not a healthy growing point and that plant probably is going to die. So on this plant, for instance, since the growing point is here, we could actually remove this whole top portion of the plant. It's going to still kick out another leaf and keep on going. So if you think about it on a hail event where you get these leaves stripped off or just all sorts of damage gone, you know, this plant would still be okay if that growing point's down. If we got up here, you know, a little later on, the growing point's up and we snap that stem, then that plant would be terminated. So that's going to be the way you assess corn. Now, soybeans are a little bit different, that soybeans elevate the growing point immediately when they come out of the ground. So on a soybean, this is a soybean plant right at uh, V2, and our, our growing point is going to be right below the cotyledons here. So if you think about it on a soybean plant, now with this plant, if I would have damage and I took that plant off down below those cotyledons, the plant has now died. It's, it's not going to be able to come back. However, soybeans are also fairly hardy uh, whenever we have defoliation. So for instance, in this plant, if we really damage this with hail, if we still had a cotyledon or a leaf still on that plant, that plant will most likely recover. So again, we could defoliate this plant and get rid of a bunch of leaves, you know, even down to, even if I took those cotyledons off and had this one little leaf here, we would still have a, a large ability for that plant to recover and continue to go. So again, as we look at hail damage, a lot of times it looks really bad, and, and a lot of times for our corn and soybeans, it's, uh, it's not nearly as bad as what we see. Currently where we're at here, uh, end of May, uh, South Central Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania, all over um, the Northeast, probably our biggest thing to assess on hail damage would be our small grains that are starting to ripen uh, and just look to make sure that heads have not been broken off or or smashed on those things. Um, I don't have an example of that here for you today, but can, uh, can talk about that at a later date. Hopefully that gives you guys some information for assessing your crops on hail damage. Um, as always, reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep, uh, territory manager, or agronomist for additional information on this as well. Again, Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist for Pioneer, Thanks for your time. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.